Hey everyone and welcome back to New Woodshire and episode 2 of this Let's Play series. So in the last episode we arrived here in New Woodshire, we purchased a few plots of land. Uh, we did harvest some cotton that was in this field, field 4, and also up in field 24 that we own as well. Uh, we also did purchase field 8, uh, which has still got a nice crop of corn growing in it, uh, which is 100% fertilised does require lime uh, which we'll do after um, we also then replanted some grass in this field and then mowed up the grass over here for some hay so what I did say we was going to do is look at getting our farmhouse built um, on this section of land I've got a few different ones we've got the basic in-game one which is far too expensive for us uh, the little farmhouse caravan which I like a little bit more than that we, we spent a lot of time on Ravenport without actually living anywhere um, uh, I've also got this one which I used on rolling kills, but again, that's quite expensive. So this is the one I'm using on the Grizzly Mountain time-lapse series, uh, part of the Modding Velt um, USA building pack. Um, so I thought we'd go with the blue one. Uh, we could put it around about here somewhere. What I want to do first is... Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I want to actually put the garage in. So... I've got this little garage, it's only 2000, which is super handy, nice and cheap. So we just get that somewhere around just next to that track there. And that's not as straight as I thought it was, but uh, it'll do. I'm not, I'm not paying to delete it and rebuild it, so I'll have to stay like that for now. Um, and then we'll go for the farmhouse. Don't want it too close to the garage. I think somewhere there will do. And then I'll just paint a little bit of ground texture in front of these. So what we'll do, we'll ignore that kind of have a drive that joins up to there that little track and then we'll paint a little bit more grass stone here and then we'll just extend that that track a little bit make that a little bit wider and that'll be the uh, entrance into this little section so we'll just take that up to there uh, what I'll do, I'll sort this bit out because we're going to extend that grass field. Uh, we'll, oh, we'll use the cultivator wall. Um, I say cultivator, we don't own a cultivator, do we? <laughs> keep forgetting that. I must, must go and buy a cultivator, I think. Um, we'll take this grass field out and we'll put another track in because that road will kind of just go nowhere then. So we'll extend that track around and bring it down this way. Uh, probably bring it straight the way down to the road there and then could completely lose that little bit of track there so what we'll do with that is with our ground texture we just bring that across try and keep it straight that should be wide enough I think um, I'll just increase it a little bit because then when we can put the grass in so we know where the grass was mowed up to, which bit of land is ours. Um, and I completely messed that bit up. I'll, I'll sort that out in a minute. Uh, it's got the version 1.4 of the Place Anywhere mod. Allows you to modify terrain that you don't own. So we'll switch that back to grass. I'll just, I don't want it perfectly straight anyway so we want to make it look a little bit rougher as I only want it as a track rather than a road so I'll just curve that off a little bit and then we'll just narrow it up a little bit and all this painting tool keeps missing random patches 
Uh, we'll do the same down this bit. And then try and put a bit of grass down the middle, which is very difficult because that could really do with a slightly smaller brush. Um, what probably would have been better is paint it grass first. I don't know, this is costing us money and I've just wasted a load, but I'm not happy with how that looks. I want to get it right. All right. So for there we switch to the dirt and go for the smallest brush and then try get this straight. That's better. That's all I wanted was a nice thin dirt track. That's a lot better than it was just. So then we can bring that round there a little bit. And then we'll just do the ah oh, no too close. Oh this it <laughs> there we go. It's probably a little bit too wide now. I don't know why it's not yeah something's not uh, <laughs> quite right with this. Seems to be acting a little bit weird. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Not quite sure why the uh, tools. I don't know if they've changed it recently or. Yeah, it's not quite how I intended it to go. Right. Yeah. This is a uh, a bit of a mess. To be fair. <laughs> so much for a little track. I don't. Know why this terrain tools? It's almost like it's snapping to a grid, and it's not letting you uh, place it exactly how I want it to. I don't know if that's something to do with the map, the way the map's set up for using this, or because I've never had this trouble before on any of the other maps. I did a similar thing on Marwell Manor, the last episode on that one. I'll put a little dirt track along the edge of the one of fields and that worked really well but this is not working quite how I would like at all. Um Yeah <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave it as a dirt I'll just leave it completely as dirt because it's not working the way I want it to. Uh That'll be better than nothing, I suppose. So I'll just bring that round. So we'll leave that at that. Uh, we do need to actually smooth out this area because it is quite bumpy. Which I noticed when I was cutting the grass there. Although it doesn't look like it's doing much. Now you can just about see it smoothing that out. <laughs> I'll just paint the bit of grass in just there. Uh, the reason I'll put the dirt track in as well is just because we can't go too close to that field uh, when we put our field in. So I thought we may as well just put a track down there and then that road kind of leads somewhere over the back. So that's that done. So what we'll do is... I think we'll go and buy a cultivator because um, we're going to need one anyway when we come to do any planting. We'll get our... I'll say get our beacons on. We don't have beacons on this one. So put our hazards on instead. I uh, do need to turn those GPS lines off. So if we get a cultivator, because we're going to need to buy one of those. Um, so we might as well buy that now. And then we can get a worker set up on field 24 because we need to go over that with the subsoiler so let's have a look at what cultivators we've got so let me just check what the horsepower of our tractor is first um, garage no nope. owned item so we've got 320 horsepower 
and we want cultivators or discarrows let's have a look cultivators first so we've got the that's 400 so we could go with the six meter horse six tiger six uh, that's 400 that one's only 280 but 7.6 meters doesn't look too bad actually only 58,000 that one's too high horsepower uh, we've got the six meter amazon six meter coon disco lander it's a funny four meter 340 is too much yeah so we may go with i think go with the land on 8530 which um, should be a link to this on my mod list because I can't remember where I got it from it's one of the various Facebook pages I follow um, so we'll buy that's 58,900 uh, but at least we have now got a cultivator uh, with the allow create fields mod uh, we can use that to extend that grass field so I'll do I'll get this back to the farm I'll get a worker set up on field 24 so we can get that done so I want to try and get that one um, get some lime spread on it and also get the get a new crop in if we can I'm gonna do the subsoiling first on it because what I found last time is when I did the lime um, while you got the cotton in there it didn't do the whole field kind of messed up where the the crop had although the crop's not been destroyed because there's no crop to destroy because you've harvested it but when you drive through cotton after you've harvested it it does destroy the actual what's left of the cotton plants uh, when I spread lime on that before I found wherever you drove on the field it kind of didn't spread lime for some reason I don't know if that was just that particular time or whether that do all the time, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I'll get the work set up on that, and then we'll look again. This grass field extended. Okay, so I've got the work going on 24. So it may take a while because we've only got the four meter subsoil level. He'll crack on with that while we get this done. So if we use the allow create fields, lower that down. As I mentioned in the last one, uh, as far as I'm aware, plow and the plowing state and lime doesn't affect grass yield at all. So don't need to worry about having the uh, going over it with a plow. Um, I do prefer creating new fields using a plow because you actually are turning the, the land over lifting it and actually turning it uh, with a plow rather than a cultivator you're not, not really doing that so um, but for now we don't have a specific plow and no one will lease one just for this and this will be a little bit quicker as well I say at the end of the day it's one of those things that yes it's not highly realistic doing it this way but it saves a bit of time So I'll leave that there and I'll probably come back across just to straighten that end up when we've finished. So at least this will give us a bit more grass area so we can look at doing some silage bales um, as well as like obviously hay bales for feed and stuff. So when we grass is ready to cut and we're not quite 
in the need of any grass or hay we can then do some silage bales to sell give us a little bit of extra money okay so I've finished off the grass so that's all planted now just tidied up this edge a little bit as well uh, it's not perfect down there but it'll do um, I, I'm going to probably change that garage and straighten up because it's really annoying me that it's slightly uh, at an angle as I was driving around looking I could see it and it's yeah. I'll, I'll sort that out at some point um, fortunately it's not going to cost too much to uh, replace that so what I'm thinking is um, as for sheep uh, pigs and cows I'm going to leave that one uh, for now uh, but let me know in the comments which one you'd like out of those three for us to start first as you want to go straight with the pigs and try and pick up from where it was before um, if we do go with the pigs I do want to go with the larger enclosure because um, as I've mentioned in the previous videos I don't think 100 pigs is really worth bothering with um, you do need more at least 100 to have a decent reproduction rate um, so I want to go with the large one which is obviously quite pricey um, sheep would be a lot cheaper again if we go with sheep now we've got the larger capacity wall pallets to use and um, we're not going to be moving pallets every two seconds um, I want to go with the larger sheep pasture because I think it'll be more worth it um, on that one uh, that'll be the cheaper option because I think sheep are cheaper than pigs to buy as well although I may be wrong on that, can't remember um, well that's like $70,000 cheaper for the large sheep pasture and they require a lot less in terms of food um, and the cows, we've got this one which is obviously what you get with the map um, it's only $10,000 <laughs> so that's the the one that you start the map with at the other location and then we also have the modding velt ones um, I thought I had another one no all right so what I'm thinking um, is going for the horse paddock I'm just going to go with a small one again I'm thinking of putting this on this section of land here because I think that'll fit in there quite nice just next to the house having the horses um, so I'm thinking of getting that in there but that does mean we're going to need to clear all our equipment out of the way and then we can tidy up that uh, back back garden sort of area um, so what I'm thinking is moving the equipment up to here for now uh, obviously we've got this section of land that we will look at utilising uh, if we I have no idea how much is this going to cost but if we level this terrain as far over as we can just cut into there a little bit um, this section here I think we'll leave don't want to cut too close to the edge of the field and then what I was thinking is we get one of possibly go with one of those I'm just trying to think we could I don't know if we'd fit two in there reasonably uh, we've got this one which was new up on the mod hub recently which could possibly fit in there but not going to fit huge amount in uh, we've got various different shelters uh, we're thinking of going with this one we turn it round. Oh, I don't know if that's going to leave quite a bit of space down the side there that possibly could actually get the back there. We go with that building there. All right, we'll do. We'll leave that that building for now. Um, we start getting some of this equipment up there. I don't know how much we're going to fit in. Let's go and have a look. Just make sure all the land is level. Right, so I just need to flatten out that back 
corner a little bit more uh, which is probably not going to let me do now because we've placed the building does that look looks better mm. just trying to think <laughs> what else we could actually fit in that space because it looks like a little bit of wasted space now uh, So that's way too big. And that one's a bit too big as well. I'll, I'll have a think about that. We'll leave this as it is for now. What we'll probably do is just bring that out a little bit more. And then just move that down and then just increase that track around the front of there a little bit. So that way we've got a nice track to get in and out of that building. I'll just prepare that bit of grass that we just damaged. <clears throat> so at least we can get like store our combine in here and some of our other equipment for now so I'll try and find some other buildings see if there's anything else we can use for this little bit um, but probably just store our stuff that doesn't really need to go inside down to there so I'll, do, I'll start getting some of our stuff up okay so we've got all our equipment up here park some of it up in the shed so we've got our combine in here header seed drill uh, the baler, the mowers, uh, the planter of uh, sprayers and that's just sat out here for now. Um, I was having another look and think about what to do down here. I think I'm going to put the seed fertilizer and lime refill point um, across here because all the other buildings I've got just don't quite fit, don't quite look good. So I think that'll be a nice area to have and then uh, once we've got another shed for the combine and stuff this could be our store just for the fertilizing uh, the seed drill planter um, the sprayers and stuff like that and then we've got the refill points will be just to here now what we'll probably do for now is because we do not have a workshop uh, save driving back all the way to the store just going to put down the toolbox because it's nice and cheap We'll just drop this out by the door. I never know which way around this is supposed to go. Um, but should do. I'll drop that down there. I'll give us somewhere to repair our equipment and do any customizations we need to. Would like to build a proper workshop at some point. Um, our worker has finished this field. I also painted that bit of sandy coloured strip that was around there in grass because I didn't like the way that looked. <laughs> But it looked a little bit odd. It obviously probably fitted in with the big hole in the ground there and whatever was meant to be there. So I don't know if there was maybe an excavator, like a static excavator or something there, modelled for that big hole in the ground or what on the previous versions. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, what I decided to do, just paint that over. So we just drop that down. Well, we do need to spread lime on 24, um, but I do want to get the lime refill point. The only thing is the one I want to use, which is the one we had on Ravenport, I haven't actually enabled. So, um, I will have to jump out the game again and enable those. Um, pop down, actually we go in the landscape mode, it'll be a lot quicker. I'll show you down I've done a little bit more I did straighten up the garage a little bit it looks well, it looks a little bit straighter anyway um, and I have moved it back ever so slightly um, so what we'll do I'm not going to leave this like this we'll do a little bit more probably put some fences around and a path coming from the actual house which I might as well do now just so it doesn't look like we're walking across the grass <laughs> so we'll do a little bit more with this area and also thinking of getting some small shelter to go um, for the trailer to go in 
So we're going to get the next thing, which is the horse paddock, which I think will fit rather well there. Trying to think. Bring it back a little bit just so we've got there because I think that's just the straw on that diagonal section. That's completely taken out all the paths. It doesn't look like it's left any odd bumps or anything. That's pretty much level. So we can repaint our roadway back in. I'll switch to the round tool. Yeah, there's really something weird going on with the painting the textures on this compared to what it's usually like. I mean, there, that should fill that corner in, but it's not doing anything. It's a little bit odd. Not quite sure what's happening. Just make sure that road's uh, that has dipped it down a little bit there, so we may need to just smooth that out a bit. That shouldn't be too bad. Now I'll just bring that round to the water trough. No, that's the feed trough. Uh, we'll put a little track going round to this side as well. So we can kind of drive all the way around. Now we just need to repair the grass. Uh, we don't have any oats yet. I did have a look to see if there's any contracts available for harvesting goats. And the, currently there's not. There's only three fields with oats currently growing. As I say none of them are ready to harvest. So we'll... Um, yeah, we might as well join that back up there as well because that's where we're going to need to unload the the horses um, so we'll probably just buy a pallet or two of oats from the store for now um, field 24 could possibly look at getting some oats planted in that now let's tidy that bit up And around there, just fill that little bit in, and just need to repair this little bit of grass here. And I think that doesn't look too bad. So we're gonna have a kind of like a ranch style house with uh, our horses nearby. Um, handy, we've got this little shed here to store the bells in and stuff. And we have got this area as well. We could possibly put a smaller shed as well if we ever need to, or the grass equipment. Um, I have taken everything up the other end, but I may bring it back down and just get a small shed or shelter for the mower, rake and tedder and stuff, because we won't need it up there. This is predominantly where our grass is going to be. So that's our horse paddock built. Um, I'm going to pop out the game, get the uh, refills enabled that I want so we can build those, and then we can get fill 24 spread with lime we'll plant some oats in that one and then we can use that for horse feed you can see we just need some lime on that one and then we'll say we'll get the oats planted in that and then we'll go and pick up a few horses get their water done buy a straw bale because I'm not sure if we don't have all the things whether they don't kind of progress to the next um, training level if you don't have all the feed and stuff in the need. So I'll get the, uh, the fertilizers and the line point. Okay so I've added in the refill points, not used the ones I wanted to because they were far too big to fit in that space so I've just used the ones off the mod hub now uh, the ones I had on Ravenport I didn't realize how big they were uh, they yeah that they, they wouldn't have left much room to get down so not particularly keen on the seed and solid fertilizer one I may have to have a look at 
finding some different ones but these will do for now so we'll get this filled up with lime and then get some lime on 24 and then we can get a work going on planting some oats in that one and then what we'll do we'll uh, head over to the store probably buy a straw bale Oh, uh, that we'll need to get a straw blower as well because we don't have one I, the little warsy one I sold at the end of the last one because we was going to get one that fitted on the on the skid steer but then now we've got the square baler they Square bales do fit in, but they don't quite fit in, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, so it's something else we're going to need to try and sort out. But for now we'll get the lime spread. So just this last little bit to do with the lime and then we'll get our worker seeding some oats. So that'll give us some feed for the horses and we can bale up the straw to sell. We don't need a huge amount of straw bale so we'll get more than enough off there. We can keep some for bedding and then we can have some to sell. What we'll do is just get this parked up. I have to unload all the fertiliser from this. I may possibly look at getting a uh, separate fertiliser spreader. Although, to be honest, I don't know if we'll technically need one. We've got the. Uh, I suppose if you're using the planter, that doesn't apply fertiliser. It's handy to put some solid fertiliser down. So we'll just leave that there and get into the New Holland now what we'll do we'll go and get the the first load of horses oh, I think we can only fit six into our trailer so we'll just get these six and we'll just top this up with seed and fertilizer make sure our refill points are working okay uh, they should do they're all off the in-game mod hub so I don't think there'll be any issues. The uh, I think it's the small supplies one. It's going to tell me this. I know this seed is uh, quite finicky. In, uh, well, we've got fertilizer. You do have to get it quite close. Uh, that's why on the ones I had, I extended the, uh, the triggers to make it a lot easier to fill up. It's made them a little bit bigger. There we go. So we want to set that to oats. Well, at least they're both working reasonably well. The only one I haven't got is a herbicide, which I can't remember if I've got weed switched on or not. So we'll just set our worker off going on this. And then we'll head over to the animal dealer, which I have to find out where that is don't want the AI extension because it doesn't like anything other than combines I'll turn those lines off again so he's finished already okay like that that worker didn't get very far so for some reason Okay, so it appears our worker doesn't want to work. I 
So this is where you get these frustrating, <laughs> frustrating workers. I don't know if this is because of the way the uh, the field boundaries have been set up that it's too close to the edge. Let's try it a bit further in and see if it all. Nope. That's strange. Okay, so we may have to do this one ourselves. Uh, try and find out why we've got an issue with the worker. Unless it's the trap set. I'm just going to try swapping. I know this tractor's not powerful enough, but I just want to see if it'll actually hire a worker. Whether it is the actual mod of that tractor that's. So I don't think I've used it with a worker. Um, can't remember. Can't remember if I've actually used the the new Holland with a worker before. So whether it's an actual issue with that particular tractor or whether it's the field. Well that one's fine. That's strange. So I'm wondering if this tractor hasn't got the and uh, been set up to allow workers to use it. Which could possibly be if it is, we might have to get rid of this tractor because it's not going to be much use if we can't uh, hire a worker. I'll just park this up there and I'll have a look at that one. Um, and yeah, I'll see if there's um, anything on Facebook, a uh, new update for it or anything for that particular one. Um, unfortunately, we'll have to use the. Uh, Magnum, which is not quite powerful enough, but it'll do. So, we'll go over to the animal dealer, which is um, over by the pork grain elevator. So, it's up by field 16. So I have no idea which is the best way to go. I suppose probably just following the yellow road down. So I'll meet you over there, or <laughs> see you over there, because I'm going to probably get lost trying to find a uh, find the quickest way to get there. Okay, so we're at the uh, the livestock dealer. I'd literally just followed the main road. <laughs> it looked like the easiest route. So I presume the trigger is here. Yes. Um, so we want horses. And um, what we'll do, we'll just get one grey, one pinto, one palomino, one chestnut, one bay, and one black. And that should be four. Yep, so that's $30,000. So that's our six horses. Uh, it's interesting to drive around because I said I've been on the map before, but I've not actually driven around the map. So it is a ni very nice map. I do really like it. Even though it's as said before, it's got a lot of the buildings from Ravenport and stuff, it does feel like a completely different area to a whole different feel to the map. So I think we'll probably just about finish it up here. I'll leave the worker to get the oats planted um, and we'll sort out the, the feed, hay and straw and water and that for the horses. Uh, we'll probably do the water now actually because we can do that with this now uh, we are getting on a bit so we'll transfer those over we'll leave that there so there's our six horses and the first horses on the farm so we're down to three hundred and seventy four thousand dollars so we've still got a bit of money um, possibly to get another field or two or look at getting one of the animal enclosures. I've gone to the wrong one. There we go. I'll fill up the water. At least I've got some water. I could actually give him a hay bale. 
we've got the uh, the skid steer there. So that's the waterfall. No trouble is I've left the uh, the bale spike for the front loader in the way. See if I can grab a hay bale, at least I've got some hay and water then. It's just the oats and some bedding we'll need to sort out next time. Just about grab that one. Oh yeah. So at least I've got some feed. I'm not going to completely neglect them on the first uh, day at the farm. So let's have a look what we've got. The probably the sim name. So we've got Peach, Racer, Zeus, Misty, Chester, and Wrangler. So there's our first six horses. So I actually could do with a few hay bales, but we'll sort that out as well in the next episode. So if you have enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you do have any suggestions on what animals you'd like to see first, uh, sheep, pigs or cows, what you want to concentrate on one particular one for now, or just buy some more fields and then get the animals when we've got some more money, let me know in the comments section. Um, if you do have anything else you'd want to see, uh, questions, then please do ask them. And I will try and answer them best as I can. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. We've got new Farm Simulator 19 videos coming every day. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye.